Welcome back. It's actually not raining. So we've come outside and we're gonna do the no dig bed. This is a raised bed which we built out of stone. Tina finished it off last year. We filled it up with soil. We was digging it up, but now we're gonna try the no dig method, which is, as the title suggests, no dig. So you don't dig it. All you do is every year you put a fresh layer of compost. Sorry, I'm getting distracted by the birds. You put a fresh layer of compost or manure and compost on top of the bed. Some people cover it up, some people don't. But I'm not going to cover it up just yet. I'm going to pull all the carrots up, parsnips, pull any weeds up that I can get without having to dig up too much. And then I'm going to cover the whole bed in a layer of compost and then that should be ready for planting March, April time. So, we'll go over here and crack on. Let's see what these carrots did. Flipping <laughs> That is pretty remarkable. Now, in this bed, over the summer, we had mange toot growing, beetroot. We was having a job germinating the carrots. So, one of the channels I subscribe to, Urban Farmer, Curtis Stone, he put a layer of compost over the soil and sowed the seeds in that, and they germinated. These actually germinate, and, and look at that. That's a pretty good carrot. Good shape, good size, and I played, planted these quite late as well, so they've actually done quite well. I can't remember exactly when I planted them, but uh, so yeah, we'll uh, pull the rest up and see what they look like. So far, so good. Some of them are still a bit small, but we've got a few good ones. Look at that, that's another pretty good carrot. And here's a good sign, we got worms. So, that's the carrots. Let's see what these parsnips have done. Not a lot. They can go straight on the compost. Oh, oh. I think if I'd have got them in a bit earlier, we'd have probably been alright with those. So I'll remember that for next year. Although we're in the south of France, it's still got a bit cold. So everything else in here now, <coughs> I'm just going to class it as a weed and uh, <coughs> try and pull them up without disturbing the soil too much. So there we have the bed, pull all the carrots up, I've got most of the weeds out. I did cheat and I used my push-pull weeder, being in a wheelchair it's a bit tricky to, uh, you know, if you've not got full mobility it's not ever so easy. But what I've tried to do with the push pull weeder is just to break the weeds off at the top and not dig down so that the actual soil below the surface hasn't been disturbed. So next we're going to cover the whole lot in compost and spread it out and then that'll do. So that's the next step. This here is 40 litres of universal compost. It's actually looking a bit ropey, but uh, 
it smells, so whether that makes any difference or not, I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, break it all up. It's been in the garage for a while, so. actually labelled as compost, universal compost, but to be honest, this looks pretty much like manure. I wonder whether they've labelled it wrong. I do remember Tina spreading some of this around the bottom of the greenhouse when we were planting the peppers outside, and um, it did smell. Give the whole lot, try and get the whole top covered just break it up a little bit I probably should be getting my hands in here getting my hands dirty but yeah I think it is proper manure rather than just compost which is good can't grumble at that it does smell and get it all covered. I think I'm going to have to get another little bag for this end because it's a bit thin at this end. I'll be back. This is definitely compost. It's what we used to pop the plants up in in the greenhouse. But that'll do, that'll mix in nice with the manure. And it'll just give this end a bit of coverage as well. Just get it nice and leveled out. So everything's covered. So that's it for our first instalment on uh, the No Dig experiment. This will be a bit of a series going on through the year. I'm gonna put a uh, set a playlist up with all the No Dig gardening videos. I'll put a link up in the top right hand corner, so that's yeah, left hand, I don't know if it'd be right, might be that corner, top right hand corner. <laughs> I'll um, put videos on all through the year so you can follow us along as and when we do it, but then I'll compile them all at the end into one big video and there'll be the no dig experiment in our garden. So um, yeah, we're looking forward to getting this season up and running and started. So we've got some stuff in the greenhouse kicking off already. The heat mats for the propagators should be here soon so we can crack on with that and then hopefully get some stuff growing in the kitchen. And uh, yeah, March, April time, we'll crack on in the garden. So I hope you like this video. Please click the thumbs up. It all helps the channel. Comment below, ask any questions you like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And it's a bye for now.